What's going on, my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Second day of Season of Plunder. This season is so much fun. I know it's not a lot, a lot of content, but Arc 3.0 is gnarly. The season with the pirates is amazing to me. I love the narrative and the story behind it. Get to see a little bit more for Drifter, especially with heading into Lightfall and these new Darkness subclass we're going to get. Super excited to see where we go this season. Now, before we get too far into it, wanted to touch up on this 144 hertz monitor here from Pixio doing a giveaway with Vast. So make sure to go down below and enter via the links in the description. This monitor is amazing with that one millisecond refresh. Never going to miss anything when you're gaming with this bad boy right here. Now in today's video here, we're gonna be talking about the Expedition Playlist, which is a nice matchmaking seasonal activity where we use some treasure maps, which we craft actually via our different currencies this season to claim our loot at the end of this playlist here. This week we have it on Europa. Now, we earn those two different currencies that I'm talking about via the catch crash activity to get those map fragments at the end of it by claiming that chest. And then we also have a currency that is called treasure coordinates. These are used to craft those maps that I was talking about, and they come from completing strikes, crucible, gambit, and other activities. Now, a cool little facet about this treasure coordinates here is that if you have an armor piece that has this perk on it from the season called plunderers trapping it grants five percent additional treasure coordinates from all sources with a maximum of 20 percent increase and that 20 percent does add up very very quickly so if you throw on those four pieces of armor and farm that treasure coordinate you're going to fill it up very very fast now you unlock this expedition playlist just like we unlocked the catch crash over here by just completing that initial quest for this season in the story with the drifter and the Helsinki and spider over on the last city. You come to a point where you craft a map actually via this nice artifact that we get from the spider in the captain's atlas. We use this like I said with those two different currencies to craft our maps which we then take in to the expedition to claim our loot now we're gonna have different types of maps that we can earn this basic one we're just earning a gear and some umbral energy and then once you unlock some of the upgrades on the star chart and unlocking those levels in going from 1 to 16 in reputation rank we're gonna get more treasures that give us additional things like this one gives us glimmer here now actually going through these expeditions is super easy once you slot those treasure maps by collecting the fragments and coordinates from those other activities. This week, like I said, it is on Europa and it's all about charging this payload and moving it around to different spots on the map. Now we start off, like I said, by just defeating some enemies in the area around a drill. And as you defeat enemies, the drill will actually deposit or unload some loot that was storing up in it. And they look like those engrams from the Grasp of Avarisk that we collected to get that burden on us before we exploded. Kind of the same thing, but we pick up those engrams and throw it at the payload as it is just sitting there there to charge it up before we make it travel. Now during the session of charging up that payload, there will be a point where a jammer will come in and you have to go to wherever it is on the map, defeat those couple enemies that are around it, and then shoot the beacon that is jamming the signal to continue that drilling process where we were before and get that loot to come out by defeating enemies and finish charging up the payload. 
Now, once that payload is charged up, just like public events that we have, we go stand on it to get it to move through the area on Europa, defeating enemies on the way. Now, it'll make two different stops on its path to the very end. One of the stops will just be like we did before with that drill and defeating different enemies. After we defeat a certain amount, the drill will give us that loot, those little golden engrams that we pick up and throw to continue charging our payload and have it progress through the level or through this expedition mission. Now, like I said, this is exactly the same as it was before when we were charging up the sled to initially move. Now, the other option we get after we stop, whether it be the first or second time, once the payload starts moving, this will actually be some type of champion in a jammer or a trader that is coming in to stop the payload. So it's super easy to defeat this one. Like I said, usually it's a champion of some sort. So as soon as you defeat that initial wave of enemies right there with that champion, the sled will become unjammed and continue to move along its path towards the very end where we just continue to push the payload until we reach the boss. Super easy for this. It's just a normal boss fight for this expedition. We're going through and defeating a nice cabal this time on Europa. So once we do enough damage and defeat this boss here, we're able to collect our loot kind of similar to how the battlegrounds was where there is a chest that gives us some initial loot. And then depending on what treasure map you have, there's three spots at the back where you can use your treasure map to dig up some buried treasure. And that allows you to get that additional loot based on whatever treasure map that you had slotted and crafted based on those map fragments and treasure coordinates from doing those other activities. So this is a super nice way to get a variety of loot, especially once we can upgrade our artifact a little bit more and get those different maps, which will reward us probably some better gear. Like I said, we got the glimmer one and just the basic one at the moment. There's also a rotating captains one so it kind of depends on what you're looking for i think it's going to be a very good way to kind of farm specific loot as long as you have the currencies to craft those specific maps as well now <clears throat> specific maps as well so that might have been a little confusing, a lot of information just because we're using every different part of the season so far to enter these expedition missions. We have to go through and collect those map fragments from doing the catch crash activity on the helm as well. And then we also have to collect treasure coordinates from doing other activities, including that catch crash. We get some from that, but Gambit, Crucible, and Strikes also reward us that. And then we have to craft a map to bring into here. But that loot is super, super sweet and excited to get my pirate on this season and that Arc 3.0. So hopefully this helped you guys out with these expedition missions and getting all the little nuances done in crafting those different maps and how the loot system kind of works at the end there. So thank you guys so much again for the support and continuing to watch. Lots and lots to come. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.